three reasons why the Packers will beat the Jaguars. The Green Bay Packers, riding the momentum of a three-game winning streak, will face off against the Jacksonville Jaguars on Sunday. While the Packers have not always dominated this season, they seem to have hit their stride just in time for this matchup against a Jaguars team that has shown improvement, but remains inconsistent with a 2-5 and five record. Here are three key reasons why Green Bay is poised to emerge victorious once again. First, big play offense versus big play defense. In today's NFL, big plays are crucial and the Packers have a clear advantage here. Green Bay ranks third in the league for explosive plays defined as an 18-yard pass or a 12-yard run with 33 long yardage passes and 26 dynamic runs. This offense thrives on stretching the field, a capability that will challenge the Jaguars' vulnerable defense, which has allowed the second-most 20-yard plays this season and the highest number of 20-yard touchdowns. The Jaguars' defense has struggled to contain these big plays, especially through the air conceding numerous touchdowns over 20 yards. While star cornerback Tyson Campbell returned last week and nearly intercepted a pass, even his presence did not prevent Jacksonville from allowing 276 passing yards against rookie quarterback Drake May. With Jordan Love at the helm and a balanced Packers offense, the opportunity for Green Bay to capitalize on Jacksonville's weaknesses is significant. Love ranks 7th, 2nd Jordan Love versus the Jaguars. Lackluster secondary Jordan Love's season has had ups and downs particularly with interceptions as he leads the league with 8 picks. However, Love's aggressive playstyle, which includes taking shots downfield, could pay off against a Jaguars team that has only managed one interception all season. The Packers coaching staff has accepted some level of risk with Love's style, but they will be looking for him to reduce avoidable mistakes. The Jaguars' secondary has been a major weakness ranking last in opponent passer rating and among the lowest in interceptions. Safety Andrew Wingard, responsible for the team's only pick, might return from injured reserve this week, but his presence alone may not suffice to contain Green Bay's receiving threats. In contrast, the Packers' defensive lineup boasts more experience and recent success in creating turnovers. The Jaguars struggles to disrupt passing attacks and apply pressure ranking 26th in press. Third situational success, red zone efficiency and third down conversions. While yardage is important, converting those yards into points is essential, particularly in key situations like third downs and red zone scenarios. The Packers have been consistently effective in these high stakes moments, ranking 12th on third down conversions, while the Jaguars offense lags at 24th. The Jaguars are also among the league's worst in converting red zone chances into touchdowns, scoring only half the time they enter the red zone. Meanwhile, their defense has struggled even more, allowing opponents to score in over 78% of their red zone opportunities, and every single goal-to-go opportunity has ended in a touchdown against them. By contrast, the Packers have improved situationally during their winning streak ranking in the top 10. In summary, with a high-powered offense capable of exploiting Jacksonville's defensive vulnerabilities, a quarterback in Jordan Love, who matches up well against a struggling secondary and strong situational play in the red zone, the Packers are well positioned to secure another victory. As both teams look to continue their positive momentum, Green Bay's balanced game plan and key matchups should ultimately propel them to success for both red zone offense and defense green bays.